And we're live. Welcome to TGI Friday, here to kick off your Lego loving weekends. And this week we are touching on something controversial. Lego flippers and swoopers. Is it fair for people to turn a profit? Uh, we will be having a spirited discussion tonight. And I have an awesome panel of fellas here joining me. We have Stephen from Western Australia. Hello. Good to see your face again. Yeah, the rumours aren't true. I haven't died. <laughs> <laughs> the rumours aren't true. That's good. <laughs> we also have Philip from Bundyberg. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Okay, Darkside Brooks. We have James from Bendigo. Hello, hello, hello. We have Bilza and Jody from the Gold Coast. Hello. Hello. And last but not least, we have my brother from the same mother, Adam from Inside the Brick. Woo! <laughs> Sorry if you're wearing headphones. Yeah, I think you owe everyone apology. Uh, so, yes, uh, a bit of a controversial topic this week. I thought I would touch on this one, seeing as um, it is a topic that comes up from time to time. People get their knickers in a knot. And uh, I'm sure we have a lot of strong opinions on the panel here. But before we dive right in, I'll just check in and see where everyone's been at this week. Uh, we might start with Stephen first thing, as we haven't seen him for a little while. What have you been up to, Stephen? I've uh, been doing a bit of building, actually. Um, been mucking around with the hospital, the new hospital. Um, so I've been enjoying that. And I've been coordinating a... Uh, a bit of publicity stuff for our new show, so it's taken up a bit of time. Um, Exciting uh, stuff. Yeah. Not so, long yeah. now until um, Bricktober rocks around too. Yeah, it's um, 10 weeks. <laughs> when, you, when you put it like that, it's like, oh, my God. 10 yeah. weeks. Oh, no. Very close. Woo. All right, rolling on to Philip. I see you've been up to stuff in the background. Yes, I'm changing the layout of my Star Wars table <clears throat> after doing my first event and seeing all the pro tables. So I won't mention people's names. Bill pro. Hall, Cherie. Pro. Cherie's parents. Um, <laughs> yes, I've realised that. I actually, I do. I like the actual step up. I like the that layout. A lot better than just one long flat table so i'm changing my layout so it'll be two six foot tables now instead of one eight foot table i was getting bigger yes definitely am all right moving on to james what's been up to james very little to be to be basically honest okay, um, moving on. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> it's been a bit clucky um yeah not much i um, mean it has been particularly cold down here, so um, maybe just, I don't know. But, um, yeah, just enjoying the opportunity that doing absolutely nothing gives you, so. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. Um, just saving money, just plugging your money, money away in, you know, lay by, lay by. Uh, yes. Lay by, what, oh, okay. Um, the end of year, I am going to have all the Lego. Uh, well, yeah, hopefully before then. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of running with it at the moment, so. Oh, fair enough. Okay, moving on, we have Bill and Jody. What have you guys been up to? Um, yeah, we've been mucking around with a couple of hospitals as well, trying to, uh, trying to modular it a bit and, uh, uh, working on, working on our, uh, mock for, uh, Maryborough, trying to clean it up a bit and sharpen it up and, um that's about it really been making the most of the the catalog sales that have been out this week and picked up a oh yeah there's some little sets. tasty little discounts out there yes yeah. early morning trips to uh the stores before work <laughs> <laughs> i'm waiting for the first of august to do that <laughs> yeah, well, we've got that next week too, Voltron. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm regretting letting my husband order that online. Everyone else is going to have it before it even hits Australia with the post. Yeah. Always the way. I've heard it? a few reports uh, of people having it held up in customs and whatnot, and I'm yeah. already. 
Mm. All right, moving on. Adam, you been up to much? Moving a whole room. Moving a whole room. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if people don't realise, I'm in a different room. I'm in the loft. Ooh. I'm in the loft. If, I, if, if, I, if I ever on the big screen. You were on the big screen. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no. Um, this only got up here today. And plus, I've been finally labelling everything. Um, Organising your Lego so you'll never use it again. Yeah. And then drilling over the new Hogwarts castle. Well, it's oh. better, better than the other ones. But, that uh, expensive, uh, expensive little thing. Yeah, but it's my size. It fits in a small spot. Your size, okay. A little wow. bit bigger than your size. <laughs> I, hope yeah, that is I, I think you mean scales. Scale. <laughs> yes, yeah, scale. Yeah, you do oh. little, little, little. My, it's a little bit bigger. Okay, okay I no, I think it's big, 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 big. I. <laughs> Uh, oh, what, what, what have, what's been going on in uh, our world here? Uh, we finally got the Ninjago docks. You can just kind of sort of see the corner of it here. I see nothing. You see nothing. I, see here. No, I really don't see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not pulling that down off the couch. Otherwise, I may not get back up again or I'll throw a muscle. I now can see the corner. <laughs> the plan is starting Tuesday. Um... We'll build, hopefully, if we've got enough room here, by a side by side on the live stream. So um, I don't think that's anything I've seen anyone else do. So I thought it'd be something different. So one, one, one live stream for Sean and three live streams for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's already jokes. Um, Sean's like, I, I'll do the dogs, and he's pouting that I'm doing the dogs. I'll do the talks. He'll do Ninjago City. He'll finish that before me, and then be helping me finish that. You can. Uh, bet. Is it going to be four day at our stream? Or? Oh no, we'll do it in sections. Like everyone else does it in sections. So. You know how to slow him down. Just take one of the pieces. <laughs> Unless fair <laughs> piece. Um, one, piece from each, one, one piece from each bag will slow him down. Oh, no. The other thing that we've been um, doing is checking out our local Toys R Us. There's not an awful lot of Lego left. And it's very telling as to um, what people don't want to buy even at 50% off. Are you getting um, much base, uh, base plate lift with all those water tiles, Stephen? Yes. Hey, can you see it? Yeah. It's docking. Oh, okay. It's docking. Shocking. <laughs> if it's a not docking, don't come rocking. Oh my goodness. I went and started working on it last weekend. It hasn't been me that built it. I've just been told I have to tell you that. Yeah, I just heard yeah. that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like a good set. Maybe it needs to be put on plate, a plate rather than a base plate. Uh, which set is that? Docks. Oh, the dogs. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was paying attention. Honestly, no, husband just came home and I was trying to be polite. Well, he's trying to scare him. No. <laughs> I can mean uh, say, Sean, come over here. Everybody wants to say hi. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, hi, hi bro-in-law. <laughs> He said, hello, all. Yeah, Ah, oh, funny man. He always comes home from work right after I start streaming. <laughs> Give it a mind. All right. Do we want to jump headlong into tonight's topic? Dun, dun, dun. I think first, first, we should probably define what we mean by flippers and sweepers. Flippers and bippers. <laughs> Not that sort of flipper, Joe. Not that kind of flipper. Oh. <laughs> Sweepers. 
Oh, swoopers, not sweepers. Oh, I thought you meant sweepers. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, Flipper is uh, somebody who goes and buys, you know, a whole lot of sets on a discount and then flips it for a massive profit. Yeah, and in no that, intention of ever building the set. Yeah. Kind of relevant at the moment with all the Toys R Us sales going on and people hoarding in on the bargains and then potentially selling them off at a higher price. Mm -hmm. And then, yes. and then you and then you've got your swoopers, the people that come in and they just take everything. Mine. A good discount, they take everything. Mine. What the people who? Adam, Adam what you? Are you... But I'm being a sweeper. No, that's not how it works. Well, there's, there's only one left of everything. So that's it's the like people who who buy like the Millennium Falcon, like only when it was available, and then they'd sell it for five hundred dollars more because they could say that at least they have it. Yeah, that's like, a flipper. Yeah. You saw it actually with the Taj Mahal. Uh, uh, was it about a month ago now. Maya had it for two hundred and fifty dollars for a day, and and the next day on Gumtree, eBay, everything it was three ninety nine, and it was swamped with the things. Mm -hmm. That is great. The jokes on the people trying to flip it because it's still swamped now. Three weeks later, oh, I'm yeah. my employees though. Just saying. <laughs> Maybe that's another way for my to actually sell it to actually pay me. <laughs> it's like we have all these sets on our on our store shelves that we can't get rid of. Uh oh. Uh oh, piece is shattered. Evening, Aaron. Typical, come in Good late. Evening, Darren. Typical, come in late. Yeah. Darren. What do you think I've been out doing? Oh god, not oh, again. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Darren. Have you been <laughs> buying things to flip, Darren? <laughs> Are you even sweeping? Swooping. No, I've been geocaching. Oh what? I thought that was it. So <laughs> what's with the spatula, James? It's a flip. <laughs> it's a it's flip. It's a flipper. I'm an egg flipper. Oh. Um, uh -huh. It doesn't have holes. It's thin and usually it is, isn't is metal. It's like a. Anyway. Yeah. Uh -huh. or wooden. So, why are you making references to other people? Hey, we're not making references to any human beings. Uh, we are yeah. having a generalized discussion, Darren. And if you <laughs> can't read the pre stream rules, then you <laughs> need to go out and come back in, mister. Oh, okay. I can just go ahead and not come back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I only just got home. I just tried to get on as quick as possible. That was all. Oh, no rush. Because there were, because honestly, there was that many, there was that many messages in the pre-stream. Where do you start? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't realize, we have a bit of chat in the pre-stream, like sort of messages. And tonight there's about like um, a meter's worth of them. Oh yeah, that's not my fault. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Just, I just know some of them are um, gifts too. So. <laughs> so you're the worst offender. <laughs> uh, uh, I just want to quickly uh, acknowledge and say hello to Henry and Johnny G that were here earlier. Mini figure collector who's joined us and uh, Ryan and Douglas McBrickin. Hello. Hi everybody. So we are talking about flippers in general. In general. In general. No specifics. In general. No names. No names. Oh, just shout them. Just shout them. <laughs> Give me a tea. <laughs> James will be crying. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't start. Don't start. I have an eject button, Darren. Oh, of course. <laughs> I warned him on Sunday. Yeah, oh no. That oh, was, that was just a challenge, that was. Ado has joined us too. Hello. If anyone's in the live chat and you have a opinion, strong, weak, or otherwise, please feel free to share it. Ah, Henry's come back. Hello, Henry. 
And no, it's not a secret stream tonight. No, we are here every Friday night. And if you haven't been here before, make sure you subscribe and tickle the bell because it likes to giggle. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> hey, you got to have a stick. Anyway, not a, not a stick, a stick. Never mind. <laughs> You're moving on. Oh, moving right along. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, let, to let, clarify, let, to clarify, what's a swooper? A uh, swooper is somebody who comes along, like, say, uh, you know, the Toys R Us closing thing and everything's 50% off. They'll go and they'll swoop, like, they'll take a whole shelf. Oh, yes. Of what stock, not me? just one or two things. They will take everything of a type of set. And Why do we think people are doing that? They're not necessarily flipping them. Well, swoopers can be brickling stores sometimes. Sometimes they can be gum tree. Hoarders. Sometimes they can be gum tree flippers. What if they're an A who just wants a lot of parts? What if they're well, looking for chickens? Yeah. That that is another thing too. So mm, the issue that's that's around fairness to all. If you're going to use it for your own personal use or sell it, whatever the case, it's just being fair that everyone gets to enjoy what we're all here for. I guess. Yeah, like if you're like take the um, take the hospital at Big W for example. It's retails one hundred and fifty. They sell it for 120 today. They've got it for 99. If you're going in and buying five of them to build a mega hospital to mock, then good on you. But if you're going in and buying five of them to flip five of them next week when they're back up to 150, well, then, you know, is that really right? And I was there first on Thursday at the store. I could have brought every single one on the shelf. But that's not, we don't have a purpose for that. We just brought the two that we want to use. Yeah. yeah so. So the, the, the definitive difference is that the flippers are looking for a quick profit, whereas the swoopers may not necessarily be turning a quick profit, but they are cutting their overheads by getting everything of a type, which makes it harder to find that out in the stores. And stopping other people from buying. Especially if you live in an area with only one specialty toy store or one specialty you know, um, you know, like maybe previously an area with a Toys R Us, whereas areas don't have Toys R Uses. So you get those exclusivities. <laughs> yes, especially when they do the exclusive the Toys R Uses. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Toys R Uses. No one, no one oh, else is there. Like, for them. example, the, um, the T-Rex transport that was an exclusive to Toys R Us, I yeah. didn't realise that it was going to go so quickly because I didn't realise that Toys R Us was in that much trouble. So I, I I couldn't get it in the store. They got three and somebody came in and took them all, like within hours of the store opening. Mm. Yeah, it's like certain unnamed individuals who have attacked me personally on Oslo. Um, actually, there is an extensive lineup of people who attack me on Oslo. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, that's a personalised message to you, sir. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, for example, I've done just several stores. I was actually after the Ninjago City. Go to Ninjago City. One. Ninjago City. And some person rang around all of the Toys R Us's um, Toys a Week, that place, in the Melbourne Metro and bought all of um, yeah, the problem is, is that if you actually remove something from the supply chain, such as a store, such as a chain, um, and if, like, they might only get a certain amount of stock. And if somebody, say, um, a couple of years back, Big W had the sand crawls. If somebody buys all their stock, they might not order any more stock and that's it. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's similar. That's similar to what happened in Brisbane, if, uh, was about two years ago. Some mystery person was going through all the Myers through Brisbane and buying up all the modular buildings mm -hmm. for sales. And this was like cage loads of them. 
Yeah, I had an issue with something like that. Um, yeah. Who can afford that? Mm. 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 Okay. So, yeah. And they were clearly flipping them because they came up on Gumtree. Oh, okay, we, we've got a few comments in the, the live chat that I'd uh, like to address. Uh, Henry says, has anyone seen m &R Productions' original content cop? It was all about this sort of stuff. Yes, I have watched most of that. Um, whilst he makes some good points, uh, not necessarily in a very um, tactful way. Uh, but you know that that's M and R Productions. He, that that's how he he you know that's how he puts his stuff out. Um, Ado says resellers are fine if they're selling out of production sets. It's a way for people to get sets that they miss out on. Yeah, that that's that's different. That's not a flipper. That's you know, like re resellers sort of fall into a slightly different category than flippers. Flippers are the people out for a quick profit. Quite often they are not even Lego people. They're just looking to make money and they don't care what they make money on. Uh, who else are we going to hear? Too Humble says the Lego flippers are really rough in my area in the US whenever Lego goes on clearance. They clean the shelf completely. Most of, most of them, oh, most of the time it's probably Bricklink sellers. Um, yeah, I don't know where I sit with my feelings about when it's bricklink sellers because as an asshole that's sometimes the only place that I can find the stuff that I need because I don't want to go and buy 10 sets to get you know that particular part at a reasonable price because if you go onto Lego um pick a brick or um was it bricks and pieces sometimes the pieces can be really quite expensive and you know <laughs> There's a market out there. If there wasn't a market out there, people wouldn't be doing this sort of stuff. So we are kind of sort of creating the problem as well. Would you agree? But we're also creating a market mm. through the flippers buying stuff so that the stores normally replenish the stock because the people bought it. So, yeah. No. Yeah. There's a balance there somehow, I guess, and that, you know, if there's more demand for things, then there's usually more supply of things unless it's a limited edition thing. Hmm. Usually, usually the flipping problem is um, more more centralised around the um, exclusive or rare types of sets. What it seems like it's impossible to um, uh, what's the word police. In mm. some cases, because some retailers just don't care; they just want the money. And in the case of Myers, um, they ended up bringing in new rules, and um, those new rules still don't work. Yeah, because they just send in um, friends and friends of friends. Mm. Um, we got one more comment. Uh, if it wasn't for a reseller, I wouldn't have the Grand Emporium. However, it had been retired for some time. Buying or clearing out an entire range while it's still current, well, that's rude. So that was from Matt Allen. Good point. Yeah, and Jason's also right too. It's San Diego Comic Con, Comic -Con I'd say that is. Mm. Uh, amazing if you line up for exclusive minifigs. Didn't even know what they were lined up for. Yes, because those minifigs bring stupid money. Yes, they do. Yeah, you know, I've seen them, seen them run at over hundreds of dollars, and yeah, several years later they're still running it. Yeah, you know, some of them are running at ridiculous money. Especially, especially oh, if wow. it's that Deadpool one. And they took kids with them to maximise their chance of getting the fix. Because yep. just because you're in line doesn't mean that you'll automatically get it either. So yeah, yeah, just greed. People just get greedy. But like policing that. <laughs> I've yeah. been in stock take sales where. You know, one per family is great until they have multiple multiple people with the same credit card. You're like, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's one thing I reckon they need to start doing is having um like credit card blocks per was it day a week, depending on the type of exclusive set. That would be good to have. But then, but then the ones that are serious will just borrow friends' credit cards. There's, yeah. there's nothing around everything. You know? when, when somebody wants to do something that's you know a little bit on the nose, they'll they'll do it however they can. 
Yeah. The shop, the Lego Shop at Home website, if you use the same credit card under a different name, it gets blocked. Yes. So at least Lego themselves are trying to combat that. Yeah. Yeah, and if you if if you um raise flags with ordering too many things on a frequent basis, that also makes them limit your ability to spend as well. I've heard of people that have been flagged because of just simply ordered too much stuff. Yeah, you might order twenty of a current classic box um, because you want a, a lot of box parts, and, and they'll flag you for three months. You can't buy that same set for three months. Mm. Uh, Ado is bringing up a very interesting um, point. Then yeah. again, what's everyone's opinion on buying whole boxes of minifigures? Hands up if you've done this before. And I fully intend to get one of each, or at least one of each. I'll be trying to get at least two, because I actually want to sell minifigures. So... Where's that spatula? Is <laughs> that spatula? Flipper. <laughs> Do not, I do not go through um, minifigures just to get the placement. With one exception. <laughs> one exception. When they only included one in the box, I had one for me. Chickens? I had one for Chicken a man. individual who will remain nameless, lest he be embarrassed. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I sell the sets of the figures. And so Me? If, if, a, if a box comes with three sets, I want three. Mm. But let, let's be honest. I've got one policeman. Yeah, I, bought, hey, I, I, got I bought a set of minifigs off of you. That was ravaged. Like There was only four figures left. And I had a look and went, oh, there's a policeman in it. It's like, what's the chance of that? Yes, I took that one because, you know, but I'm not one of those people who, you know, decimate stuff just for the things. Like here, I have... A selection of figures from the last series. These are all going into mocks. I've got certain things in mind for those, and I bought those separately at five dollars a pop. That's my dickhead. No, um, <laughs> so I, I could use specific things for a mock, like the balloons or whatever. Mm. So I don't think the issue is so much selling them because it's a service to people for people that can't get them i think there's definitely a need to sell because people you know want to buy oh, the Darren. Price that you're selling them at that i think is the issue if you're buying yeah. if you're buying them and selling them for ridiculous prices and ripping yeah. people off that's my issue if you're providing a service at a decent price good on you look that's i can tell you how much money i make from selling a box and trust me, it ain't much. There is not much over here. Um, the difference is, is that I know that I can get boxes cheaper legitimately. Um, most of the time I don't because they're snapped up by other people. But the biggest problem is, and the thing that is, you know, I'm a member of a variety of different groups that sell minifigures, and I don't think there's enough policing out there for people who quite frankly steal stock and then... You know, like these things cost five ninety nine. Now, obviously, there is a bit of a difference between wholesale price, wholesale plus a bit of profit, retail, retail profit, and all of that. But if people are selling figs for a dollar or even two dollars a pop, and they're not the wastage figures like across the board, no money is being made if they actually bought. And so, people clearly want to get a discount. People clearly want to get the best price. But if the best price is on the back of somebody having hot fingers, yeah, you don't want to encourage that behaviour. And I'd rather pay a, a higher price for that. Absolutely. I think the other thing to keep in mind is if you're buying a whole box and then you're selling them to your friends or your other uh, lug members, then that's something that is a good thing because that person might not be able to find a certain um, mini fit, but you're helping that person do it. And if you're just doing it at cost price, I have no problem with that. Yeah, yeah. and most of us are like that. I mean, we bought we bought boxes of those Series 16 when they were $2, when they were being run out. Yeah. Bought two boxes of them, and we passed a lot of those on to our LEGO Kids Club members in full sets 
at $2 each. We just passed on what we paid for because they they could not fill out a full set. And, and bear in mind, in, yeah, in, the, but, in the small level of defence, and again... Yeah, I just couldn't manage to fill out. Well, I'm, I'm not saying the case, but to exhibit in a major show for a year, it costs thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Let's be perfectly and brutally honest. And not, of course all, so. not all of us have access to the types of benefits that membership of certain lugs give or not all of us work and, and get retail discounts. Not all of us work. And so, you know, we do what we can to ensure that um, our hobby is, is maintained because having this hobby has great benefits. Um, and must get more um but you know um you don't do it to live but you know you, you do it so you can you, you can keep healthy so that's all good. that and I, I must get more more yeah, oh, must must catch them all uh -huh. <laughs> oh just saying about gotta get them all i saw a really funny meme the other night um You've seen the Chuck Norris ones, yeah, he's so tough, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, well, Chuck Norris caught all the Pokemons from a landline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a lot funnier when you see the actual meme, Darren. Probably. Sorry, but sorry, Darren. I played WoW for 13 years. I've heard every single Chuck Norris joke in existence, and trust me, they ain't funny. <laughs> sorry, but... <laughs> Okay, it's time, time to share some um, comments from the live chat again. Um, Douglas McBrickin says, resellers are fine, but if it's on the shelf cheaper, angry face, at least wait for it to re retire. And if it's new in demand item, just leave it for those who will build it, like example, the Saturn V. Hey, I bought that for full price. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't think that was aimed at you, Jake. I know, I know. I'm being defensive tonight. Uh, Jason says, I buy a box of minifigures uh, to get a set for myself and sell the rest for less than retail as a set or give the extra figs to kids at rotary functions in the bush. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, you don't yeah. have to necessarily go out of pocket to, um, you know, do stuff like that. But it's nice that you do stuff like that, I guess. I mean, um, I know I don't have this back cash to just you know give Lego away that I've paid good money for. That's um, for sure. Actually, well, swapping stuff's different. Here's an example. Okay, so you have like your, your two dollar minifigs that you, now I'm not going to show it and all of that, but okay, so for example, there's an entire row of guys here that only came from a certain um, selection from a cmf now there's um there's a couple of ways you can get that you can either order it through bricklink which incidentally they do this exactly the same thing as everybody as anybody else they've got to get them from somewhere so as long as you leave other stuff for others mm. um, be fair don't be a don't be a pro yeah i think with the minifigures in particular it, it's the people that go in they pick the ones out that they know are going to be popular yeah. And, you know, sometimes they're, it's far too easy to fill out. Uh, not that I do that. I mean, sometimes I'll grab a couple of extras because it's a minifigure that I like myself, but, I, you know, I won't go selling it as a minifigure. Um, the one thing that I do with some of my spare ones is I make them into jewellery. So um, transformative at least. At least. Um, your intent is the key thing here. Is what your intention is when you uh, purchase these these um, products. If you're just really, it's all about making money, and you know, I haven't got any time for you. Mm. That's what you think the hobby is for. Um, but if you're doing things like they were saying, giving them away to other people, or like what I do, I um, get the extras and they go to my sister and my nieces. So. You know, it's the intent of what you're doing there. Yeah. I think it's important. And it's pretty obvious that some people, their intent is just to make money. 
And that's pretty, pretty much what I do with anything that I end up selling. It goes back into my hobby. Um, and without it, I probably couldn't afford to have this hobby. So from that perspective, I understand people who do it for that reason. Um, I think James is in a similar boat. Um, Adam's in a similar boat. Uh, when you're low income and you have an expensive hobby, uh, <laughs> you got to find a way of doing it. You know, if, you, if your income won't support it, you've got to find a way to make a little bit somewhere. Uh, I, I, I don't have issue with people that want to do it to support their hobby or even to have it as a business so long as they do it in a fair and just manner. I think it's all about um, how how you go about it. I agree. I made a little bit of money from a, um, a market. Um, and be, be that as it may, you know, the stuff that I sold, um, I sold it <laughs> pretty let, Let's just say I'd be happy if I bought the price that I sold it. Um, and, yeah, and I got it for, you know, why? So, yeah. if, you know, if you recycle it into something, hmm. quite quite often I'll buy a set um, with minifigures in it that I can see will be useful for jewelry making and have other things that I want to use. So I'll use the pieces for my mocks, and then I'll turn the minifigures into jewelry. Um. James, you have a question. Whoa, James is a World of Warcraft head. Horde or Alliance, James? Alliance, Gnome, Fire Mage, um, engineering and dual crafting. I have um, I used to play a, a character called Vesuvius who would normally... Uh, Rupt. No. <laughs> uh, possibly, but no. Um, no, I actually... I swapped servers and then I went role playing. Um, no, not a little bit of role play, but not formally. Um, I just you know run around Dalaran and um, I had a, an ongoing war with a fountain squirrel. <laughs> okay. Um, fire mage. I, I don't know. It was fun. It was stupid. I'm six two, so I figured a gnome. Everyone hates gnomes, so I'm like, okay, fine. No, I had a little bit of fun with it. So um, I don't. I haven't played it for like oh god, nearly a year and a half. I'm not going to jump back into it. Um, history, but yeah, it was a bit of fun. Fair enough. You know more about me now. Just had to acknowledge that one. All right, uh, Ryan is saying when I was buying heaps of the photographer to get the penguins for my mop, I bought a max of two from each store. Went around different stores to leave more on the shelf. So instead of like stripping one store of all of that particular um, minifigure. That's a good way of doing it. Yeah, I don't think anyone has any issues with that type of stuff or anyone that's running a legitimate business. It's the people that are ripping others off that gives us all the shits. Yep. I guess at the end of the day, though, if, if someone finds a... Let's say the policeman, for example, and they list it for a hundred dollars on a swap and sell page or a Gumtree or an eBay or whatever, and someone buys that, then who's is the flipper to blame or is the person to buy it to blame? I mean, it's a it's a necessary evil, I think. Flippers are gonna flip and oh, swoopers man. are gonna swoop. I just hope that they can have a bit of heart about it. Do you think Lego are partly to blame because they only supplied one freaking policeman in the box? <laughs> yes, that, absolutely. With what they're doing with the upcoming Harry Potter with, and I forget mm -hmm. the name. Um, I, I've heard those boxes are going to be, like, limited. Like, there's not going to be as many. No. And, and so with the, with the Disney minifigs, that are actually a pretty good set, and I'm not a fan of Disney, but, yeah, that actually went really well, and yes. went very well. Gone. Yeah. Um they say, yeah, you know, flipping is flipping is bad, okay, but by the same token, a Lego encouraging it with that and the SDC and all that. So, oh my gosh, Minifigure Collector is saying that 
You know what makes me mad is the people that buy a set, take the minifigures out of the set, and then return the set. What? What? Are you telling me people do that and the staff don't check? Oh. collector names, addresses, telephone numbers. We'll get back to you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's been known to happen. Yeah. Like, I, 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 okay, I've seen instances where um, boxes have clearly been tampered with and stuff has gone me Like I've taken it up to the counter and said, look, this has been tampered with. I think stuff's been taken out of this box. And they check it and it has. And it's always like the, you know, the, the bags that have the minifigures in them are gone. Yeah. Like how, how did somebody have... Like, how do you have the time to, to like, how do they, uh, it blows <laughs> my mind. How do they even manage to do that? Actually, that set, the shuttle. Because they that, that had a problem, had a, that, a, a very, the very same problem. Um, yeah, um, I used to shop for Lego in Frankston. But yeah. yeah, they didn't, the original one I couldn't get because it didn't have minifigs in it because someone had did that very same thing. So... It's just sad. It's pathetic. All thieves should have their hands removed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No, no threats of violence, please. Um. <laughs> what a very modern uh, input on uh, thieving. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. No. Uh, Sorry, I, I, I don't, I, I don't I, like thieves. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Like yeah. as far as I don't like thieves either. Um. One of my pet peeves is when you go to say somewhere like Big W or Kmart or whatever, and they've obviously got the minifigures just on the shelves and not in a high traffic area, and people like steal parts out of them, not the whole minifigure, just just mm. parts. Wow. They open up, open up all the bags, they <laughs> take out bits, split the bag and take the penguin or the yep. bulldog or the. Or the yeah, butterfly. You, 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 you big city people have funny stories. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't, oh, that oh. doesn't happen here. There's no dodgy people. Hey, when I was in Bundaberg, oh, no, no, there's, there's plenty of dodgy people, but they don't steal just parts of the minifigure out of the out of the. They just steal the whole set. No, no, they put the whole shelving in under the shirt and walk out. <laughs> but no, I have seen like you know boxes that have been tampered with and parts have gone missing and. That sort of thing up here, but you've got to get parts of bags. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Diggler says they steal a practice box, figure out what they want, and target a particular bag. Sad <laughs> with how much effort they put in. Before yeah. before every minifigure series comes out, you know bump codes, you know distribution, you know how much how many are in the palette, you know where in the box the um the randoms are and there's usually two or three locations so all of this information is out even before australia gets it so unfortunately if for the unscrupulous it's it's quite easy yeah and when you've got the media saying that lego is worth more than gold mm. yeah and then you have crooks actually um wiping out little toy stores down south then you know it's a problem. Hmm. Oh, another another story. There was someone arrested in my area. This is from Too Humble. Uh, because they were buying Lego sets, removing the pieces, and returning the box to Walmart with stuff in it that sounds like Lego bricks. Don't mention that name. Oh, my God. Ugh, we're all feeling dirty now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you bet if you got that box home, you'd feel rather disgusting. Well, there was that one time, Adam. Remember when Mum bought that box of um, Lego that had uh, a bag missing? Whole bag missing. A whole bag missing, and I'd rather have the whole bag missing than have the whole bag filled with. Uh, that should not be mentioned. Uh, oh, oh. But the thing is, is that because it was um, that kind of um, a box. Like, like the. Can you remember what, what box it was, Adam? Oh, it was the yellow. Um, no, what? no, sorry, no, no. It was the red. You know, the two by two. Um, 
Brick Rocks what, had like 600 parts or something in it. Yeah, and uh, mm. Maya wouldn't do anything about it. And Lego wouldn't do anything about it. It was like tough. Well, <laughs> if they sold it to you, it has to be complete. It wasn't complete. Yeah, well, that's poor. Yeah. Mm. And half the problem, that it was actually put on lay-by. Mm. And it wasn't found out until we took it off lay-by. Well, they're doubly um, compliant mm. with it. They have to... Anyway, it's not history, but they probably need to fix that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Oh, dear. Unfortunately, thieves will be thieves. Oh. There's only one thing in life she'd ever steal people's, and that's somebody's heart. Oh. How romantic. I need a Donna tab. I mean, it was my bucket. <laughs> uh, what a mighty, you guys. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Try to show my soft, sensitive side. And yell, oh, you're dead, soft, no soft. wonder guys are so insensitive when they're around you. <laughs> it was nice, Darren. Look, I, I brought you some flowers. Oh, that was so yeah, hard not to say my something. Heart. Show them again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, James, I'm in this exactly the same boat. Oh. Totally is. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you the money oh, before he no. does. I want him. And we're only selling him to you like four, four times worth their value. That's a oh, bargain. Really? bargain. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a terrible flipper. We're selling it for exactly what we paid for him. Exactly. Because you can't <laughs> get to the store that we got them from. So exactly. we're helping a brother out. Helping a brother out. Yeah. If only I had known that they were all going to magically disappear within a couple of days, I would have gone. Are they all gone now, are they? Uh, they have gone. Yeah, gone. You, you was gone. almost the last of them. Oh, oh. Do, you, do you want half of that cup, Sheree? Go your halvesies in it. Oh, okay, Darren. Oh, Darren, I <laughs> twist her got, arm. I finally got that T reference. It, it took me a while. Um, ah, okay. <laughs> that solution to that question that you've just asked. Hi. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Minifigure collector says, My store let me keep the loose parts that I find. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, I guess what else are you going to do with it? I'm sorry. The 60 sealed packages, there are no loose parts. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's talking about the pick brick wall. Oh, that one makes sense. Yeah, it's like when you make a minifig and then suddenly you've got, you know, 20 accessories that come with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, this one comes with 10 cats. It's a crazy cat lady. I have never said that. Uh, Actually, I've heard some stores will let you put in, like, any one of the parts of the minifigures. Like, if you want a whole heap of hair, you can get 15 pieces of hair. Really? Oh, ours won't. Can it's I have that? Not I'm saying that Dreamworld will do that, but some of the Lego stores overseas do. Yeah, oh, yeah. Florida, Florida Lego Land will let you do that with mm. the build, the three, build three figures. So I got a hat with uh, mortarboard hats that way. Ooh. One, uh, one day Dreamworld will have to do that because they must be getting to a point of having all the same bits and pieces still left in the build a fig container. I don't know. They seem to have a pretty, pretty decent um, variety. Um, I just have to stop and say hello, Neptune Ice. Thank you for joining in. Timmy is joining us in the chat too, and Craig and Ricker. Um, not sure who else I've missed. Sorry. Okay, moving right along. Oh, Shri, are you Arabi's mum? Oh, <laughs> uh, what is this? Our weekly question. <laughs> we yeah. did agree that was going to be a weekly question, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. apparently. It's, it's much more fun when the RRB is here. We miss you, mate. Let's just sweep that under the carpet. Oh, my God. <laughs> we don't need puns. Oh, dear. Let me saying that HK in Japan let you do that. Um, pick you know multiple bits instead of whole mini figures with accessories I in cool. japan hmm. hong kong thank you in japan and you're talking about tokyo hong kong and 
Japan, not in Japan. At Hong Kong and Japan. Oh gosh, Henry is telling some very, very tasteless jokes in the, the live chat. Uh, avert your eyes if you have you have a, a um yeah an aversion to very very bad jokes. Oh goody. <clears throat> Moving right along. Let's just sweep this under the rug. Oh god, you can only use that joke, joke once a string. Yeah, it's not punny anymore. Also, Henry saying RRB is playing Xbox. Okay, I can handle rejection. Uh, uh -oh. My own son won't even turn up to the stream. <laughs> oh, admitted. There it was, live on YouTube. She admits it. <laughs> jokes, jokes. You've had it here first. <laughs> Breaking news. Oh, God. He wishes he had a mum as cool as me. <laughs> Maybe that's why he won't. Mm. <laughs> we now have RRB as Aussie Brick Boy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He'd be embarrassed. Does that mean that he's your one by one? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nah. Nah, that's just, that's just bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you apologize. I'll just let that sweep under the rug. Oh, oh, no. No. Adam, Adam. Get rid of the Where's damn the room. eject button? Get rid of Adam. Sweep him out of here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Here's R.I.B. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Look at the Ninjago green and everything. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, my goodness. See, that's why I bought that set, boys and girls. There's no other reason. No other reason, no. <laughs> now, he should come on in about five seconds. <laughs> uh, oh, Neptune Ice has asked, have you managed to pick up the Minecraft brickheads? Um, what brickheads? He made a Lego, Lego order on Lego Online, so he popped, it in, popped those into the cart as well because it's a couple-hour drive to the Gold Coast. Meanwhile, she's dying. <laughs> what the? Sorry, I had a cough. Oh, oh that's all right. That's it came right. really quickly. I thought you dropped out. No, no. I'm like going, it's okay, talk. No, my connection's horrible tonight. Someone's pissed on the string, that's for sure. <laughs> what? Oh, look, it's, you know, Nothing on the landline, so I'm on the mobile. Even <laughs> yeah. Sorry, everyone. Pedal hard. I think I think some cow out in the paddocks had a leak on the landline. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're highbrow tonight. Yep. How's that hospital coming along? Pretty good. How tall is it? Not uh, stories. Mm. That's a lot of stories to read. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Not, not, not being the paninator. Oh, wow. That's enough punishment for one night. Oh shut up. It's looking oh. good. Pun it out. Oh. Sorry, that was probably not. <laughs> Don't everyone all talk at once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We seem to have lost yeah, half one. Well, I think we're all in agreement, aren't we? So no one seems to really disagree with anyone. I'll pick a fight. <laughs> oh, look, I've had people come up to me in the shop and say, you're a flipper because I've bought like 15 or something. Yeah, I suppose. Gone, but did you see my mock? And then you show them a photo of your mocks on the on the iPad, and they go, yeah. "Okay, we well, can see you actually use all those bricks. You're not selling them." I said, "Well, I don't run a brick thing store. I don't sell anything. I, I trade with other people most of the time, but you know, that's the odd thing, but not much." 
They keep up trying to sell stuff on Oslug and stuff like that, and or not Oslug, some of the buy, buy swap sells because I had guys coming down. Oh, but it's the wrong mini fig. And by the time I got the right mini fig to one guy, and it cost me thirty five dollars more than what he paid me, you know. Yeah. And then he didn't send back the mini figs in exchange that were the wrong ones. Um. Right. Yeah. And then I then I heard he did that to everybody. So yeah, it's just sort of there's people out there that aren't very honest buyers either. Oh, those so, are the scammers. Yeah. Yeah, of no. another individual that starts with T. I've forgotten the rest of her name, but um <laughs> <laughs> now now. Yeah now. now, now. <laughs> uh who who here buys um bulk lots of second hand? Well I do occasionally. Um, you get them. If you can get them. So but do the you, do you find that it's very competitive? these days especially can be. can be getting bulk locks online it can be yeah but i find well i'm in a different situation on than all of you guys but um yeah, it's, not, the it's not that competitive up here in bundy as far as you know getting garage sale lots and that sort of thing they're pretty easy to get I had a lot come up one time on um, one of the buy stop sales and the guy could only he needed cash he needed to pay rent simple as that and he said, you know, whoever gets you this afternoon and gets it for a ridiculous price. And I just contacted him. I said, dude, you know, like, what else you got for sale? Went there, turned up, gave me his money for what, I want, what he wanted. And, I mean, I bought it at around about $18 a kilo. And it was a really good lot. It was a lot of, it was all just being built and displayed. It was, you know, tons of minifigs. And I just went, dude, that's too cheap. And he goes, no, that's what I asked you, asked for it. That's what I'm accepting. I won't take no more. I said, so what else you got? And I'm buying a few other sets off him, and I paid what was the fair price for him just to make up a bit, you know? Mm. No one else. He, other people had knocked him back, so you're wanting too much for him. I looked them up, and I'm like, they're all pretty much what Bricklink price is. He hasn't asked too much for him, so, you know? And then I actually found him something he wanted a few weeks later and slipped it his way at the right price, so mm. when he was a bit more financial. So some people sell stuff because of, you know, just finances have hit him, you know, like, they don't want to sell it, but in this case, if he didn't pay his rent, he was out in the street. So he was just, you know, he needed cash that day. PayPal wouldn't clear quick, quick enough. Bank account wouldn't quick, quick enough. <laughs> I like what Douglas Rick said. I buy some Nerf and Connect stuff with Lego. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with some Lego. Bearing that, that there was more of the other two than Lego. Uh, Blue tack. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite prepared to trade. Yeah. I don't care what it's for. I'll trade all the time. Yeah. Not oh, we, have, we have our Hey Tam brick sliding in the chat. Hello, Hey Tam. G'day, g'day. And how are you going? Well, <laughs> now, now, don't want to get copyrights. <laughs> Douglas is going to pull my finger, highbrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I've got half of Haytan stocking behind me. Haytan's <laughs> <laughs> hey hey built most of my um most of my Tatooine display. He just doesn't know it. <laughs> I'm like Haytan, hey look at what I built. So, do we have thoughts on uh, businesses <laughs> that buy bulk lots and swoop in and like the ones that buy it and sell it without even cleaning it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's going to sell it at a significant discount, like huge discount. It's okay, but yeah, that's garage you, sales. You get what you get. Yeah, you, you've you've got to if you're going to present it to somebody else, it, it's got to be, it's got to be. Um, oh, I don't care if I get mine from garage sales or from uh, um, from a, a lot that's sold on um, one of the buy swap sell groups or whatever. I I wash it, disinfect it. I do it goes through the whole routine before I put it in my store. Yeah, Milton Milton's a tip for disinfecting it. Mm. And I won't sell anything that I won't use myself. You should see my box of <laughs> bricks that I've got. And they're actual yeah. genuine Lego, but they've been chewed on. They've been. I've had, I've had <laughs> oh, blood on them. So. I've gotten some really dodgy secondhand off Brickling. 
Oh, yeah. no, no, no. I won't no, buy no. second hand up a brick link. Yeah, and because of that, I don't buy second hand at all anymore. I just buy new. Mm. I buy up people that I, I can't see it. I do. I do have my um, connections on Bricklink. Who have second hand more good, but yeah, I've had. I have been stung before. Hmm. Yeah, so have I. That's why when I set mine up, I made sure you know that wasn't going to come through me. I make it a rule not to buy second hand up a Bricklink. So. <laughs> How can you tell? Um, oh my goodness! A, a genuine, a genuine old yardstick, eh? How's that? I I've wanna, actually had uh, people. I've actually had people email me after buying from me and asking me if I'm sure that the parts were used because they <laughs> look just as good as new parts. Yeah. Like. And some things do. Some things you can, you yeah. know, give them a wash and they look like they're brand new, but I still won't post them as new. The only times I post something new is when you know your leftover studs that you get in a in a set, like you build them. Um, the Millennium the, Falcon. The TFA Millennium Falcon. Yeah, and you, you might get a spare plate and a, a couple of studs and a well, few random bits and pieces. Do. They're the things that I put on set. in my store. Huh? <laughs> that's what new should be directly out of a set. Exactly. And put I, into like love, a bag or something. <laughs> I love doing this. Britain's latest comment. Good, good part about a nice thick dust layer is a UV protection. Oh, <laughs> SPF <Correct>. 100. <laughs> Didn't think of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's got a funny joke. I'm always buying second hands for brickheads on Bricklink. Ah! Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jay, Jason uh, does no, have. Not going to like, Jay, Jason does have a um a, a quite a <laughs> collection of custom um briquettes that he builds. Hey, Sheree. Hmm. The message that you said was going to appear just appeared. Which message? What? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't have to look. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Oh, good. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have a wiener. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. So, flippers, flippers, flippers. The only thing flippers are good on are on dolphins and seals and... <laughs> <laughs> and feet if you're going deep sea diving. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one of, one of my mates on Facebook, he, he does that deep sea free diving. And he, he's got these flippers, and seriously, about a metre long. And the <laughs> other day, he did 125 metres in a pool. Wow. In one breath. Yeah. Cool. Don't you hate it when you're building something and you go into your own private station, you go, oh, yeah, I've got eight of those. And you don't, you've only got seven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So close, but yeah. no cigar. That's all right. I know where I can get one, I'm sure. Could you replace <laughs> it with sixes instead or? Sorry? Could you replace it with like a larger one and then kind of shimmy it? Like a six or an eight or? Well, no, because they're all the, the timber tiles. Oh. They're all the one by four timber tiles. Oh. Pretty sure I can jump onto a certain Bricklink store and find one. A certain Bricklink store. <laughs> I'd be surprised if I didn't. Hey, Sam Bricks has said, what's your store? Uh, I'm assuming that's aimed at you. Uh, Dark Side Bricks. Hey, Tan. And Brickquest has popped in. Hello, Brickquest. Hi-de-ho. Hi-de-ho. So, anyone who is left in the live chat or who, who hasn't already uh, voiced their opinion, Speak now, forever hold your Lego pieces. What's your opinion on flippers and swoopers? I don't think you should be swooping as a magpie. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather. Losing me outside is great to happen. I'd rather not have swooping magpies either. 
Unless they're sweeping cyclists, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> As a person who does not drive a car, I take offence. No, I take a whole house. But do you ride a cycle? Hmm, I used to. Then I got old. <laughs> oh God! Oh, um, before or after RRB that you stopped writing? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be an ongoing joke, isn't it? Is now. Uh, yep. You asked for it. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it funnier. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, there you go. I was wrong. I'm not going to find any in Australia. What? Really? <laughs> it's not a single one by four with wood grain and four what? nails pattern. What? In reddish brown. Not a single one in Australia, apparently. That's no good. Yeah, James has got them all. <laughs> yeah. I've got seven of them. <laughs> I wish I had eight. <laughs> They're the ones off the roof of the fishing shack, aren't they? Yeah, uh, that, yeah, that'd be the, that'd be the time the James is up to, the ones off his fishing shack. That's why I was joking. Okay, we have an interesting opinion in the live chat from Minifigure Collector. Flippers are a necessary evil, but it still makes him pissed off. I agree. To a degree, I, I think they are a necessary evil, but, yeah, doesn't mean you have to like them. Yeah, but if they're necessary, what purpose do they serve? Yeah. Well, I think he's referring to the ones that are bricklink stores. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where people can't get the pieces themselves, so they buy them at a decent price. I think that's great. Yeah, oh. it, it, the decent price part is the sticker. Yeah. The stick, yeah. Yeah, stickler. Yeah, yeah, if, I can't, if they're I can't sold at a decent price. Like, I know one particular store that sells secondhand stuff, uh, and um, the prices on, on the parts are... Uh, um, when they put the stuff in, like because it's all used and whatnot, you're putting it in manually anyway. You're not like parting it out or anything, unless you're lucky enough to get a whole second hand set. Um, they look at the prices and they go one up from the lowest. So if there's parts are three cents and then the next price up is five, they'll put their part in at five cents, which and is normally like way under the average. <laughs> And yeah. then, then you get the people who sell it that will look at the highest price. Yeah. And then go higher. Yeah, just to up the average price. Just to up and the average price. That selling are not necessarily going to be complete items either. So, like, for example, maybe if it's, uh, I don't know, spit The gear ball. stick. Hey? The gear stick with the base. Oh, no, not stuff like that. Um, like, for example, okay. If you were to get a vintage Indian horse with a saddle, all right, yep. Saddle is not the right saddle for that horse, um, and it's usually sold in like you know with other things as well. Yeah. Like in the set, and when you're paying, you know, as much as you would have paid for like say the you know the, the whole <laughs> set, <laughs> and you're only getting a horse that doesn't have the right saddle. Yeah. Well, see, I, d I try to stay away from sets uh, as, as listing set, full sets, um, especially secondhand. Like I've got, which I thought Stephen was playing with, but no, it's not. actually, is it? No, it's not. I've got this, right, that I picked up in a garage sale. Mm -hmm. right? uh, it, everything's there. I've been through it. It's even got a brand new sticker sheet. They ordered a brand new sticker sheet before they sold it. Uh, yeah, so it's an unbelievable pickup, but I'm going to part it out. I won't sell it as the whole set, just in case. Even though I've gone through it and I've I've put every mini fig together, I've put everything. I've made sure you know everything's there. If one piece is wrong, it turns into a headache for me. Mm. So I'd rather part the thing out. Headache too. Yeah, um, me personally, I'd rather part the thing out. Mini fig I've washed it and is it. Um, putting up another uh, important point. But I suppose, in a way, that makes me a flipper, doesn't it? Well, not necessarily, no. Well, see, I, th I think of a flipper as someone who buys brand new and flips it. Yeah, but flippers usually flip the set as sealed and they flip it for a profit, like yeah. a big profit, not a little profit. 
Yeah. Um, anyway, I was going to say, uh, Minifigure Collector says, what grinds my gear is people that use eBay as a price guide. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I warn people away from doing that. Yeah. Although, although that, that works in your favour if that's what the customer that is buying your stuff is looking at and then they think your price is really cheap. Mm. It works both ways, I guess, if you're a seller. But... Um, yeah. I, I think I fall into the Bilza um, category of selling. I don't sell at stupid prices because it's just not me. Yeah. So I'm probably the worst person to have a Bricklink store. <laughs> yeah, I want to sleep at the end. At the end of the day. Absolutely. Uh, it's not that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sorry. Yeah. It is that. It's exactly that. Yeah. I. I don't like the idea of being ripped off, and so why would I rip someone off? Mm, exactly. That, is that responsibility. Or having a conscience. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, do Douglas made a point. Um, it's like a Seven Eleven in the middle of the night. You don't want to buy the six dollar dodgy pie, but you have no choice. Yeah, you can get hungry. Like, <laughs> yeah, but it's like um, supply and demand. If something is in demand, and somebody has all the supply, they can set whatever price they like. Pretty much. And I've sure. seen instances where people have put a ridiculous price on a certain part to push up the average price worldwide. Or, you know, vice versa. If somebody gets it in and they can get that part in really, really cheap, sometimes they drive the price down, which, you know, makes other people lose money, I guess. But them's the breaks when you're um, playing with um, pricing. Mm. You get stuck with um, stuff that you can't move. I suppose it's, it's, it's just like the stock market. Yeah, it goes up and down. But that's the funny thing. Um, I've had stock since when I opened this, my store up in November that hasn't even looked like being looked at. And then yesterday, I sold three um, three decorated parts that <coughs> have been in my stock since I opened the shop. And I'd forgotten they were even they were even in the shop type thing. They're that insignificant. Mm. But it just takes one person to be building a set, building a, a um, rebuilding an old set from their kid collection, and all of a sudden they need that part. So you just don't know. You might hold on to it for six months, twelve months, whatever. But yeah, eventually it will go. Hope it does. <laughs> yes. And there is a market for pretty much anything. Yeah. I suppose. Okay, I'm going to pose a question just to get slightly off topic for a minute. What is the strangest thing that anyone here has ever ordered, like on Bricklink or uh, as like individual parts or uh, obscure set? Like one ten, um, one ten dome windscreen at three dollars, and then got charged nine dollars fifty for postage. Oh. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to turn up. <laughs> You're telling me you didn't buy other stuff to optimise the order? No, nah, there was nothing else in the store that I wanted. <laughs> that's where you go. That's where you, you reach out to your friends and say, does anybody want anything else out of this store? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. The next show? No, nah, so I've done that a couple of times, but I've had customers, mm. you know, buy from me where it's way under the cost of the post. It's just like, well, I understand where you're coming from, so okay. Okay, minifigure collector says Nexo pals. Uh, those are the little shit things <laughs> that you get in the, the um, bags. You've seen Bally's comment. <laughs> uh, no part is too insignificant, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, I, I have to admit, I've done that a couple of times. I've gotten I've gotten orders for specific things that only one store is carrying. So I've got to pay whatever they say that their shipping is. So, yeah. but sometimes you, you get that desperate. You need that one piece to finish a mock or to finish a building on, on your tabletop. So you just do it. They yeah. got you. They got you. Uh, oh, Jason, yeah. Jason says 150 red cups as keepsakes for my 40th birthday. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is a bit of, no, it's not overly obscure, but that's a lot of something. <laughs> well, <laughs> what about this? 
Uh, <laughs> I'm playing with one. What is that? I, I'm playing with one at the moment as well. <laughs> I can understand, that? Julian. I bought 200. Well, oh, I can shit. beat you. I bought 400. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I raise here and I'm 500. Oh, oh, no, I had maybe 500, but I actually bought 201 lot. I've got yeah. a bunch of these, and I've always wondered, should I even bother putting them in my store? And I've decided not to, but hey. They do sell occasionally if the price is right. I was thinking of actually getting Dark Side bricks printed on this part <laughs> and then giving them away with orders. Yeah, it's not a bad But idea. then I'd probably get in trouble for doing something to a piece of Lego. Yeah. But you can do uh, whatever you like with a piece of Lego. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't put your own brand on it, though, surely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, people do. Oh, I'm going to print on bricks. Get them, get it printed up. Fair enough. I might do that then. Oh, get them engraved. Or get it engraved. Yeah. yeah. Or get a sharpie yeah. and just write it. To get engraved. <laughs> just get a sharpie and write on it. You can go to um, Dreamworld and get anything engraved on bricks as gifts. Oh, yeah, they get pricey though. See, yeah. I don't know all these things. I, I, prefer, I prefer to play safe if I don't know something. <laughs> if I don't know it, I can just figure it's illegal or not allowed. <laughs> you see that, Philip? Yeah. That's all printed. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, well, I've seen yeah, I've seen minifigs and whatnot not printed with stuff. Yeah. And the hat with the rotary logo. And the hat with the rotary logo on the top as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that if you want to engrave the brick separators, we've actually spoken about it um, with Ryan as well. They're actually much thinner, you know, the wall? Yeah. It's thinner than a brick. Yeah. yeah. It probably so pumps right through it. Well, if you if you do a lot of engraving of the bricks every now and then, one of them breaks. We've yep. had that problem. So, um, yeah, you, I, I, I can tell you the guy to send it to to get it done. Um yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. It'd be pretty small, though. Yeah, so, well, that's what I thought on on the grip area here, uh, just getting it printed, getting the store name printed on there. Oh, yeah, yep. The only thing is you'd have to get the mould made that holds it, the little um, stand piece. He would have to charge you for that. Yeah. But once it's made, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be done. Not looking yeah, for that. The printers need to put a jig in their printer. Yeah. That's it, yeah, yeah. yep. Well, yeah, I had to pay for the jig for the hat, you see. Yeah. Mm. But the torso, he takes the arms off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the torso, he takes the arms off. So the first time I sent them to him, I got them all back and all the arms are ripped off. Yeah, yeah. Come here and I'll rip your bloody arms off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're kind of better off just sending just the torsos without the arms. Yeah, that's what I do now. I just send him the torsos and the heads and the hats. I have to find out who's the guy to go, who's the go-to guy in Queensland, and send him a message That'd about be printing Ken. on them. That'd be Ken. That'd be Ken. Oh, I'll get I'll get the info off when he is post chat, post okay. stream. Uh, what have we got going on in the chat? Uh, Craig and Riker says, if you need it, you need it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, hey, Tan well, I agree with that because, like I said, I've been in that position. Yeah. Hey, Tan Thank says, you. I've had a few orders of a dollar parts and postage of $8 because it's too thick for a padded envelope. Yep. yep. Like the 8x8 eight eight win uh, tan windscreens. But it wasn't from <laughs> – just let me say it wasn't from Hey, Tan, the one I got. <laughs> Yeah, and I think Hayton's gonna 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 steal that idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I reckon it'd be easier easier to just get like vinyl stickers or something. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking: vinyl stickers and putting on the over the grips, or even in, on the underside. Yeah, you yeah. want to put it's less chance it'd wear off. All yeah. right, Sorry. you want to put stickers on Lego? Do you like doing that? <laughs> Doesn't Is worry. It I'm them. not allergic to it like someone who brought all the racing sets and refuses to put stickers on them. Oh, <laughs> uh, he might be watching. <laughs> I dare you. Yeah, but unusual purchases, I suppose. In the last 12 months, I've bought over half a million trans UV parts. <laughs> That's not unusual for you, Darren. <laughs> Darren's just a hoarder. 
No, they'll get used. And then once I've used them and displayed with them three or four times, like in different box, I'll probably end up selling most of them on. Mm. Again, I actually don't think I've brought anything weird. Weird. Mm. I suppose that the rarest and weirdest part I have, and nice. I can't say I actually bought this as this was a gift, but uh, people can see that. Red X. Red X. A red X. A red X. Yes, so I had a friend of mine from overseas who was selling a lot of test parts. So I hooked friends of mine up with the test parts and he sent that to me as a gift for lighting sales up for him. So. I'm guessing you just got a whisper from Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Oh, speak of the devil. Of sale. <laughs> Everything oh. has a price. You got a new Everything coffee. has a price. And it has a price, but it's the price is too steep for Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not a uni student anymore, so maybe he's rich. Oh, that's, that's all right, oh, Bailey. Well, Bailey, um, Bailey, um, Bailey actually we'll was one get... of the people that, that um, benefited from those sales. So yeah, we'll just get James to hold them down, and you just grab uh, it. Okay, so saying that's another demographic of Lego fans: collectors, hoarders, flippers. And those that have the versions to correct sticker applications for some reason. <laughs> um, I bought a really weird sticker. Um, I bought some uh, custom made um, mold, which actually were like sick. So it was basically vomit, the, oh. or like a chemical spill or something. There's like a splat. Um, and you can put it on the board and it had a lot of holes in it and stuff. Um, yeah, plastic vomit. Fair well, enough. Getting, getting back to correct sticker application reminds me oh. of you know, when I was rally driving with one guy and uh, when he, t he got his car back from the signer and every single sticker on the car bar the numbers, which had to be the right way up by the re racing regulations, was on the car upside down because the previous season he had his car on the roof nine times. <laughs> 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 so he said all the sponsors will get better value when it's on camera when it's on its roof on the side of the road because it'll definitely get shown on the on the tv oh, it'll get lots of screen time <laughs> lots of screen oh, time and you can read it easy because it's the right way up stayed like that for two years too what's we've got the leading cameraman in the ambulance can actually see it in the windscreen so yeah that's <laughs> it. yes tim i did show you that um tickler x last week yes that is funny. Yeah. Oh, look, on one of my race cars, I had I had on the floor pan written, oops. <laughs> oops, I did it again. Yeah. I've seen, I've I've seen, seen those. once in about four years, so that was pretty good, I reckon. I've seen those sorts of stickers on four-wheel drives. Yeah. <laughs> but surely on the bedpan, it, it, you know, that's where you do it, right? Yeah. Why would you need oops? It? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, I'm on right. fire. Elizabeth showed me a sticker someone's got on the, on the dashboard of their four-wheel drive the other day um, that says, you've got to get this home, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. <laughs> and she goes, and that's referring to you. I said, I never do anything that's stupid they're not going to get home. <laughs> Where was that lake again? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get mocked occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I do get bogged occasionally. It's, uh, so, uh, <laughs> that wasn't bogged. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't. Driving into a river is not getting bogged. <laughs> I, <wasn't laughs> I, uh, I wound up in, a, in something that almost resembled a rice paddy. <laughs> oh, dude, <yeah. laughs> There's all these little reed shoots sticking out of the ground all around it, you know, in the, like very evenly <laughs> spaced. I was driving in, the sun was behind me, and as, as soon as I realised it was a bit bit slippery and slimy, it was like about two seconds too late. <laughs> and whoop, down it went. Hmm. Yeah. The photo of it, wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can barely stand up in that mud. That's how slimy that was. So, yeah, <laughs> we weren't getting out of it in a hurry. <laughs> uh, oh, get, getting back to obscure parts, I don't know whether you call it obscure, but I bought... Um, those tiles of the heli carriers. Yeah. 
for my um, airport, for my micro scale airport. Yes, that looked good. I liked your micro scale airport. I bought 12 of them because that's how many I could get. And that's how long it became. <laughs> that was one, one very expensive <laughs> runway, wasn't it, Sheree? Uh, yeah, 120. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> How much was that again? <laughs> uh, over $120. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that including the postage? No, no, because I oh, bought okay. a lot of other stuff at the same time, so I don't count the postage. It's like a third of the price of the heli carrier. You could have just bought the <laughs> heli <laughs> carrier. No, they were like, okay, they were like. And flip the parts you didn't use. Well, that's exactly <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Like other people had parted the heli carriers, obviously, <laughs> and um, yeah, they were selling them for about uh, a little over ten dollars a piece. Jeez. What? Wow! Yeah. Hence the over one hundred and twenty dollars for my runway. You know, it's just tiles, though, right? Yeah. You realize you look like a talking egg, James. Yeah. I can only see the top of your head, mate. You look like a talking <laughs> egg. Oh my god, he's gone into egg mode. <laughs> I knew he was into chickens, but this is getting out of control. <laughs> oh dear. No, this wasn't a pun. I'm actually feeling poorly, but I figured the flipper and the egg might know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, I've got something down here, so I'm just picking it up. Okay. <laughs> I've got nothing oh, else to say. Uh... Now, 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 in my defense, um, I bought these tiles, bef I'm pretty sure, before Ken started printing things. Defense, guilty. Otherwise, I probably would have just printed tiles. Yeah. And it would have, uh, it probably would have ended up costing as much, to be honest. But it's not factor in paying for the tile, paying for the print. I mean, to um, get it designed as well. Probably postage too, unless you drove back down to collect it. Hmm. Yeah. It was probably probably wouldn't be any cheaper to, uh, you know, unless you did like vinyls or something, but you'd want to know somebody who did vinyls to be able to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, you might think that like 10 bucks something per tile is expensive, but it's like they're pretty big tiles. <laughs> You're trying to justify it now. <laughs> yeah, you know, the only reason why I built an airport was because I saw those tiles and I was like, I need to do something for these. You were inspired. I was inspired. And then I looked at the price and went, yeah, I've spent less money on things. Right, I'm going to hit you up for a loan. Uh, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a when I was family money, it's all good. You just want to stick me on screen share for a moment. I'm sharing my bogged moment. Oh no, you don't have to. I, that was just a. That looks like a paddy field for sure. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks like you could drive around and 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 go surfing on it. Yeah, there is no traction there at all. do not matter what so size you've got. Shame. There was no. do not matter what you're in. You weren't going no further in that. So, yeah. I think it was crossing that was a hovercraft. <laughs> I did cross it, that's what I was looking for. So I was looking for uh, a little bit ahead. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I was about to say, and hey team, Bricks is handing off thanks for dropping by. Bye, hey See you later, hey team. We are so highbrow tonight. <laughs> it was a little head. Because <laughs> oh she said. <laughs> Oh, God. oh my God. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. And I was yeah. just going to say it's good to get ahead in life, but uh, I was going to keep it clean. So bad. Oh, so that, that, that was very appropriate. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, and he puts a jar of mayonnaise up. Yeah, yeah, well done. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all adults here. I heard on the radio today someone's released mayonnaise ice cream. Oh, gross. Like, what the hell? Why? I mean, yes, American? No, it's Australian. Something to do with putting it on your Caesar salad. I don't know. 
But mayonnaise ice cream, no it's thank wrong. you. Ew. Um, I like mayonnaise. Uh, You're sour. Ice cream. I like Vegemite and I like ice cream. Doesn't mean I want them mixed. Yeah, tell Cadbury that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually ate that as, you know, not a dare. No, hell no. Because I think everyone who ate it was like, oh, check this out, when they were, like, drunk. Um, yeah, it was just to see how disgusting it actually was. Oh, imagine how it would taste on the way back up. What? Oh. Ah! It would better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but late last year, one of the energy drink companies, like, you know, Powerade and whatnot, called Maximus, released a tomato sauce flavor energy drink and they didn't charge for it they gave it away free with meat pies and <laughs> it, it was a big marketing thing just to get their name out there because they were an up-and-coming drink company but it was tomato sauce flavor drink dr energy drink oh. and it, the whole idea was you had a bite of your pie and then nice. a swig of your drink oh no thank you it was the most vile vile thing ever oh my <laughs> god why would you want to be known for creating red vomit <laughs> oh my god you got to be known for something oh did it go viral and, and apparently flipping's bad so no even giving it away <laughs> just trying to keep on topic <laughs> <laughs> there's always a tenuous link somewhere tenuous uh, Adam, have you ever bought anything obscure? Never. Not even once. Adam is obscure. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, what about you, Stephen? Um, other, other than the brick separators. Well, early on I was doing... Um, the mini figs and I bought lots of different coloured arms and hands. So I went to the sprinkling store and I just ordered, you know, twenty of one colour left and twenty of another colour right. So it was pretty weird. But there was a reason why I was doing it. It was I was making jockeys for a horse race. Ah but I've been confused a lot of sellers. Yeah, the sprinkling store that uh, seller must have thought, what the hell is this guy doing? Although it caused a shortage on Bricklink, um, you know the old Technic wheels, the big ones that came in the first Technic sets. Mm -hmm. I bought so many of them that the, there was a shortage on Bricklink, and the price spiked. <laughs> and you owned all of them. Pretty much, yeah. There was like five left in the world. Flipper, <laughs> flipper. Flip oh my god! Yeah. Steven, Good you time to flip them. <laughs> I've still got them. Swooped in and got them all. Swooper, swooper. <laughs> so, can I ask a question then, based on Bricklink etiquette? If you were buying twenty little hands and the Bricklink seller had twenty-two, would you just? buy all 22 to, you know, clean up that part, or would you leave two? I, I always buy the, to clean them out. Um, I learned that pretty early on, that you just buy as many as you can. Um, yeah. And I also learned that if you go over $1,000, you'll get charged by the tax department. Um, so I learned that you keep it under $1,000 as well. Well, I've never had that issue. With well, buying. I know that. Oh. Yeah, you get a little um, a message in your um, in your post box saying, "Please explain why you have bought over a thousand dollars in one go." Um, oh. I was lucky the first time it happened. They they took the shipping off, and I was uh, about twenty dollars under. Oh, yeah. So I learned that lesson. Yes. Well, I know our lug has had arguments with um, customs before. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a pain. <laughs> Especially when you're like a non for profit. Yeah, yeah, it's very um, painful and unfair. But you just have to push it back to um, the seller, basically. Mm. And yeah, I've I've got my all my Bricklink orders printed out in the piles about about that thick. So have you, but yeah, bought a lot of stuff on Bricklink. 
Mm, yeah, because they purge your orders after a while. Probably the other one I bought is um, there's a Technic um, beam, a one by three, but it's not the normal flat one. It's got, it almost looks like three balls put together. Do you know the yeah. one I'm in? Yes, that's a fairly recent part, isn't it? Um, oh, it's been around for a little while, but it's not in many sets. Yeah. And, uh, at one stage, I was building a like a cliff, and I uh, pretty much bought everything out in the world. And then because you go, and people would only have like 140 of them, so I just buy the whole lot and then go to the next store, buy the next lot. So you've got to be quick when you do that because the price can spike as well if you take too long. People realise there's not many around. Mm. Yeah, so if you're going to swoop, swoop completely. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that there was a reason you came today. <laughs> um, yeah, actually buying all those loose hands is probably not as mad as, as you may have suggested because the amount of times I've, you know, occasionally when I do get a bulk lot, especially with mini tickets, I don't know what it is with kids or whatever. Oh, they pull everything apart. Yeah, and like, and even when you switch them back together and say, okay, pink hands go with pink torso and all of that, there's always hands and, and you know, they're always missing or they crack. Yeah, yeah they, they pull off the, the claw bit. Yeah. They pull the hand out. They pull the arms off. Mm. Pull the head off. The heads off. They'll pull, sometimes they'll pull the legs apart. Yeah. And so... The amount of minifigure hands I've found in the bottoms of two-by-fours. And the thing is, Ooh. after a while, they can't put together, they wear, so they don't go back in properly and they get loose. That's what she said. Oh! Oh! Jane has got a zinger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you made Jody laugh. I'll pay that. That was good. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had to make up for before with that whole with a joke. <laughs> oh, and you didn't even bring up the dolphins. The dolphins. I gave it to you so that you could put display it. I oh, know I'm too lazy to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say that outside my head? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's a <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, that's too much like effort. I, um, actually, Here's a, a lovely example. I actually have it here, so I'm going to take it out of, out of the bag before you go, mm, what's he gone about? I am in the possession, although possibly I may soon not be in possession because there is a certain panel member who desires this. Ooh. Possibly. <laughs> Pristine milk transparent antenna. Ooh. Now, this will not change for $25, I assure you. Not then. As new, only available in, what, a couple of sets? I think this particular one might have been either Classic Space or Fabuland, one of those two. But this was not from a swoop. This was from a set recently discovered, a personal set. Um, Just check yeah. your PayPal, James. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I haven't even finished my sentence. Yes, and then suddenly <laughs> I check BrickLink and then the price has just gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, that bought you enough time. Did you get the um, the memes up? or? <laughs> <laughs> what? I was supposed to be doing that? Hang on. <laughs> Uh, press buttons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do this low tech. <laughs> oh, I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, it gets worse. Can it really? Yeah, definitely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And, and last but not least, judgmental dolphin disapproves. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The average of gone. It's just back to pathetic now, so hooray. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd goes mad. Yeah. 
And Jody's just like, that's just cringe. Nah. Yeah. yeah, I'm out. <laughs> like, tap, I'm out, tap. I'm done. <laughs> Tie bow in it. Yep. Oh, Timmy says I have two of those, James. Well, aren't you a smart guy? Yeah, but are they Lego branded? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> that was harsh. Maybe they came in the beginning. <laughs> Maybe they came in the Bugatti. Now, now. <laughs> oh, dear. I, 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 I have one that's not pristine. Ah, well, that's the difference. <laughs> I, I think we've hit a new low. Oh. Right. We've been lower than this. Yeah. Many times. <laughs> what I was thinking. Uh, true. I, I don't true. have to read <laughs> my screen that, you know, fluids of. Sorry, what? Um, <laughs> fingerprints or blood or anything on the camera, so. <laughs> I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Darkside says I have none. Sad face. <laughs> Do you want sit? Do you need sit? Bidding starts at twenty-five dollars. Someone needs to slap oh, out of me. Oh, now it's asleep. bidding. I've already paid for it. What? <laughs> he said, "Check your PayPal." What's it? He so said James used to have one, and yes. now Darren has one. <laughs> are you are you fading there, Adam? Previous owner. <laughs> Low mileage. <clears throat> I saw the error in the code. No I saw one eye close. <laughs> oh dear. Don't worry. I, I, I actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I've already sent you twenty. I'm just going to send you another five. <laughs> hey. I gave you things for those 20. Thank you very much. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Ad Adam um, is saying that it is time for bed. <laughs> no. I thought you were no. fading. I saw one eye close and the other one wasn't far behind it. Uh, <laughs> it looks like you're going to fall off the chair. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I not, Adam. Somebody... No. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good I, I bought one lot of Lego wheels, uh, and the tires said the tires are all very low mileage. All have less than one kilometer on them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hey, it was enough to sell me. <laughs> I bought them. <laughs> are there any self-confessed flippers on on in chat, or have they kind of? Faded away. Oh, uh, well, it says we've got a, a decent amount of people watching at the moment. Cool. No. In the live chat, and you're brave enough to put your hand up. Are you <laughs> somebody, somebody oh. who, who does flip, and why do you flip? It would actually be interesting to hear from someone who flips. As a friend. Yeah, you know, a friend might have told them what they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you could say it's it's a story about a friend of a friend. It doesn't have to be about yourself personally. No, I, I occasionally sell things, but I'm not an outright flipper. Yeah, I just sell surface parts. We've got a brick market coming up, and I've just decided the stuff I've got that I'm hanging on to that I've I won't use in a hurry or stuff I bought in bulk lots that was superfluous to my needs and yeah. Oh, so is anybody watching this on the playback and you're a flipper or you know a flipper, could you please share why is it that people choose to flip? Is it just about the money, honey? Oh yeah, in some cases it is. They've got greedy wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just say his name again? No, I'm not. <laughs> no name dropping, please. No name dropping. <laughs> uh, 
yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure we all know somebody who, who does it in our local area. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, look, it's one of those things. You know, people are selling stuff that it's – it's there's flipping and there's, and there's sort of like selling, if you know what I mean. There's a big difference between flipping and selling. If you're an outright flipper and you're buying stuff – and on sale and you're waiting and six weeks later when it's gone back to normal price you're selling it for like as close to the original sales price as possible and you're a flipper you know it's like or if you're hanging on to it for six months until it goes out of stock and then you're selling it for way over what it was recommended retail you're a flipper uh, right? about people that are buying it and jacking up the prices and selling it immediately yeah well you've had that too yeah, a flipper is. Yeah. Well, and honestly well, you I, I don't money personally about a flipper People who exhaust the local supply yep. that nobody can buy it anywhere, and then they just like it, uh, if they buy it on discount, even if they like sell it at the normal recommended retail, they're still making a ridiculous amount if they have multiples of that set. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's be honest if I buy enough for my own needs and for commercial considerations later, I don't have much money, okay? I, and so by the time that I get enough money together through payment off lay buys or whatever, any, any of the items that I've got on sale or whatever, they've been, you know, been restocked four or five times over. And so by the time that I get it in my hot little hand, they're not rare or valuable or actually, I've, I'm just realizing what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> um, rewind, James, rewind. Rewind. I can't rewind really the bird, so um, I'm sorry. Can I start again? Yeah, okay. What you mean to say is that you're not a flipper because you don't buy it and immediately sell it. That is true. That is true. And, but if I do sell it, if I do do it on sale and I've only done a handful of those, um, it is still a decent from retail. Mm. So do we see a dividing line between the people that are doing it to support their hobby and the people that are doing it to make a profit Not money sure. for mm. themselves? I mean, yeah, we, we've got people that come to meetings and we know the only reason they come to meetings is to sell stuff. They don't exhibit, they don't build even. And the only reason, that, or the only reason they build is to make sure the entire set there before they flog it. You know, that's, that's not being part of the community. Mm. Yeah. And it's getting to the point where people are not buying from those people, which is good. They might get a message sooner or later they're not welcome in our community. Mm. Um, it's not right. I mean, if we're, if we're buying and selling a bit of stuff like, you know, if I go on to Brickling, for example, part I bought recently, I just happened to go in. I wanted 250 It had to be 1000 and a lot. The price was right. I bought the whole 1000 and I'll sell them at the brick market for not much over what I paid for them. Because for anyone else to go and buy them, by the time they pay their postage, they would have paid a lot more than what I'm going to sell them for. So that, that in that case, that's not really flipping them. It's, it's just a matter of if you want this particular part, which is fairly hard to find in quantity, I've got them, you know. That's pretty much it. You know, that's just helping your friends out in the community because by the time you do pay the postage on some items, it can be stupid. You know, and if you only want 25 or 30 of them, you're going to pay a lot more in postage. So, or one. Yeah, or one. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, and I mean, you know, and quite often, as I've said before, most of the Bricklink stores I buy through, I do get discounts through. So, I'm actually, you know, if I make the, the price difference back on just the percentage that I get on the discount, I'm making a little bit there. They're getting it for the same price they would have paid, and they're still saving because they're not paying the postage. Mm. So, you know. Yeah, the, the, you know, it comes down to looking at look after people in the community, I think, when it comes yeah. down to that. I mean, I know I know very well if I come close to an exhibit and I can't find something and put the message out, it's usually come good by the exhibition date. Someone's found it for you, you know, whether it be a loan or whether it be a swap or a buy or whatever, it's usually there for you. So as a community, I think that on the whole, most people are pretty good, but we do have those in our community that just are only there to make money. Yeah. That's all they're there for, you know. But what about what about people that are making money that have like a proper reason for why? That's not just simple. I need to make as much money as I can. Like if they have a circumstance where they need money to pay for, I don't know, 
Just throwing something out there random, medical bills or something like that. Yeah. Um, still taking yeah. advantage of other people. It doesn't depend, you know, everyone's got a need. Mm. Some are, are more serious and are more genuine than others, say for medical reasons or whatever it is, but everyone's got a need. It's taking advantage of someone else for your own good, no matter what you're spending on it. If I'm going to re-spend it on Lego or if I'm going to go buy a car or I'm going to go on a holiday, or, you know, it doesn't it's matter really what yeah. it is. You're still taking advantage of other people by selling it at a stupid, exorbitant price. Yeah, that's right. And, that, and that's when you've got to draw the line and say, right, I don't care, I'm not buying it. Or in the case of when we see that stuff that's so stupidly low priced and we, we have a pretty good idea it's stolen, don't buy it. Don't support them. Okay. okay. What, what if what if something was charitable and it was overpriced? That does happen. That does um, happen. I've been I've been to op shops where. Actually, I will say where it's from. The region, uh, in southeast Melbourne. So that narrows it down to about a thousand. Uh, uh, yeah, it was, it was an op shop in southeast Melbourne, and they were selling second-hand incomplete sets for more than the original retail when it was released for current stock and you're like mm. um like buying for charity is one thing but yeah. I, i'm very very um happy to support a charity no problem at all absolutely um particularly if i've got a, a great course or something like that but if it's a charity to support somebody's bank balance mm. there's something completely different um and if the particular person who i'm buying it from has a six digit salary versus somebody who is on the knuckle bone of their ass part of my language but um if somebody's on their knuckle bone and they're selling a couple of kits so they can you know afford a little Feed bit the kids. Of <laughs> i'd go with them every time but in a situation where it's a charity, you, you're better off actually just making a donation to that charity than buying it. That's, yeah. what, that's what I would do. I wouldn't buy the product. I'd just make a donation. Yeah. yeah. Then you can get a tax deduction, as my wife would tell me. That's one way look at it. <laughs> but, like today, I, I dropped in the library and dropped in a few more chassis for vehicle chassis here. And like, kids love them. I think they're great. So, give them a quick, easy builds. Yeah. yeah. So, occasionally I'll find bits and pieces on Bricklink and just add them to my order because I've got to pad it out for, you know, whatever reason. <laughs> I, I, ne I never like getting an order. I know I haven't made the most of the shipping. So, you know, I had one case. A guy had um, a whole pile of chassis for, you know, I think he had about three cents each on them. You know, it was some stupid price and I'll just take all them that would make up the weight of the shipping. And mm. they've all just gone to the library. You know, <laughs> I haven't kept any of them. But it's just like, yeah. Bought like a hundred of them for three cents each, <laughs> and that just happens occasionally. It's just things like that. But you know, it's just yeah. We I think we've all seen the case where the you know some op shops don't know what stuff stuff is worth, and so they overprice it and then they underprice it. Mm. Yeah, it's a matter but of two. Don't know like, exactly what it's worth, and they take advantage. And then there's a case too when you see something that's absolutely ridiculously dirt cheap and you know it's worth a fortune, it doesn't hurt to pay an extra few dollars for it either. You know? yeah, make a donation. It's make a donation. A tax deduction. Yep. But I'll just add a zero to it generally. Um, yeah, that's happened a few times. But you got to yeah, be. Yeah, but a zero in front of the original number doesn't make a difference, James. Zero in that. It's fine. No. <laughs> uh, what, what were you trying to say, Stephen? Yeah, sorry, Stephen. Um, just saying that with that op shop stuff, you can often think the set's all there, and it's not because often they're sealed too, so you don't know until you until you open it up. Um, so you've got to be so careful. You, yeah, I've seen it so many times. Open the set, thinking, "Oh yeah, this is brilliant." Half the stuff's not there, or it's not even the same set. Or, or it might be substituted with an alter, al alternate brand. Yeah, you might get a lot of... Um, mm. We just won't say it, but we know what we're talking about. Rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. Not yeah, rubbish. rubbish. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, I, 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 lo I love when you get, you know those ones in those like little orange bags that are the netting? Oh. And like, you know, it'll look like it's all Lego, but generally speaking it's not. Or worse, they'll chuck a whole bunch of other crap that you never want in a million years. All right, all right okay. Like, talk, hey, talk, talk, Lego in there. Talking, talking of flippers, this is one of the best examples I've seen. Last year on... Um, at Christmas time, there's a flipper on one of the local, um, the sort of average sort of out there B swap, buy swap, sell type sites, selling a Lego at thirty dollars, uh, like a Makona coffee jar full, all right, like the larger Makona <laughs> coffee jar full, right? thirty dollars a jar, no mini figs, just regular blocks, all right. And I just looked at it and I've gone like, I, I actually said to her, I said, um, you can't call it Lego when I can I can count at least half of it in there as um, an alternate brand because I don't even have to see the top of the studs. I just know that Lego don't make those particular parts. Hey, and, it's a big and, and, and she still tried to sell it to people. She wouldn't pull a post. And I said, I don't care if you sell those blocks, but don't call it Lego when you can actually pick the parts in there that are not Lego colours and not Lego parts. Yeah, that annoys me. That's, that's just wrong. You know? selling. And Big so, and, uh, of Lego. And I said, and like, no, um, the, the average average um, second hand price is twenty five dollars a kilo with minifigs included. So <laughs> it's sort of like, mm. <laughs> I don't care what your situation is. It's sort of like that's just taking advantage, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, it's pretty uh, sad. Uh, but... Someone in South Korea got uh, caught out this week. <laughs> what they do? They um. We're caught selling uh, knockoff Lego products, and they got sentenced. They actually got charged and sentenced. That's pure. Oh, <laughs> they flogged publicly. Because I would. <laughs> oh, no. Douglas, Douglas, will I tell you which site and which area they're from? You'll get upset, and yes, it did have a ribbon on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of rumors, I think we think we might uh, wrap, wrap this, this up. up. Oh, very good. Uh, yeah. Awesome segue. Yeah, very, very <laughs> the <laughs> least subtle segue ever. Well, between people brandishing spatulas on a flipping on a flipping title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we lost the plot when when the dolphins came out. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, we're, we're hitting about the two hour mark, so it's time to wrap it up. I want to say thank you to everyone on my panel Stephen, Philip, James, Darren, Bilzer, and Jody, and of course, uh, Adam, who was here earlier. Uh, you know, it's getting late when Adam drops off. Uh, thank you to everyone who's joined us in the live chat. It's been a very spirited conversation tonight. Um, everyone's mostly been in, um, um, agreeance though, uh, on this topic tonight of flippers and sweepers. So, uh, to everyone who <clears throat> does flip, maybe think twice, maybe, because yeah, going by how many people are <laughs> disapproving tonight. Maybe, maybe you need to rethink um, w w the way that you're making your monies. Um, maybe be a bit more um, ethical. Ethical, yes, that's the word I was looking for. Once I get past midnight, I lose some of my big university words. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't university a big university word? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, so uh, yeah, time to wrap it up. Um, we're here every Friday night, 10 p.m. Brisbane time. If you haven't subscribed yet and you don't want to miss out, subscribe, tickle the bell, make it laugh, and uh, we will see you in the next live stream. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.